Hey everybody, welcome to the Looney Bin. And I must say, how many of you knew that Nintendo could just grab your Nintendo Switch's IP address and give it to the feds? I know I did. Why? Because I keep getting mail uh, from Nintendo, uh, like this one. A letter from Nintendo? What the fuck? What did I do? <laughs> Why? Why are you so cruel to me? I'm just a casual gamer who works that only has like six hours of candy to play. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I'm talking about this is because over the years, um, online internet connection, IP addresses has helped solve many crimes because it's very easy to track somebody is, who has done any criminal deeds very easily. And one case um, needed the Nintendo needed Nintendo's help to basically solve this case. So about around August of last year, a, a teenage girl was kidnapped from you know from her neighborhood, from her from her town, and you know her family, her neighborhood, community was frantic. They were trying to find her. They set up missing um, person posters all over town, just trying to find some way to, in order to uh, find her and you know help her. And for for like a whole year or several months, they just couldn't couldn't figure out where she went, who her kidnapper was. They just couldn't find her. However, with a stroke of luck, the kidnapper uh, basically allowed her to take her Nintendo Switch. And for some strange reason, I guess he didn't know about you know IP addresses and then anyone can track you even on the Nintendo Switch. He allowed her to play on Nintendo Switch. So then what happened next is that basically she came online. The Nintendo Switch has a thing where like whenever you go online, you know, you get a notification from your, uh, your friends, get a notification that you're online and so on and so forth. And one of her family members basically saw that. They saw that she was online. And all of a sudden, oh my God, wait a minute. She's still alive. She's still okay. That's, you know, that's great news. So basically what they did then is they took that information that she was online and gave it to the feds, the, literally the FBI. And FBI contacted Nintendo. Nintendo easily was like, okay, we'll help you find the missing girl. And that's what they did. They looked up the uh, IP address for Nintendo Switch and basically located her just based off that. Because IP addresses are very specific to a certain location. And once they had, and once the FBI has your location, you know, they know where you uh, live, where the uh, console itself is located or like any kind of device is located. And basically arrested the person who did the kidnapping, saved saved the teenage girl, and basically it's a you know feel good story. It's a heroic story, and it's all thanks to basically Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, and just the ability to be able to track anybody on the internet based off like IP address. Now I know there's a lot of you know issues nowadays about privacy. You know VPNs allow you to basically you know uh, keep private of your you know what you go online and stuff like that. But this shows you that the internet and like tracking your IP address and stuff like can be very important in basically solving crimes like this. That I don't know if she had the idea of, you know, somebody being able to track her like that. I guess the per the kidnapper didn't think like, you know, the FBI would be able to track a gaming device. But guess what? They were able to because it's all connected to the internet. The internet is a vast connection where everybody is connected no matter what. Doesn't matter if you're on a console, doesn't matter if you're on PC. That's the best thing about the internet is that it connects us all together and it helps solve crimes like this very easily and you know saving countless countless of lives so uh this is a news article by abc15.com um it's a local story um this is supposedly in arizona but uh let's uh let's just read it and uh, just check it out the fbi used information transmitted from the nintendo switch to help find a missing video girl in arizona last summer according to court records the teen who abc15 is not identifying that's fine um was disappeared from her home in virginia on august 3rd 2022 yeah Volunteers, including Keitra Coleman, a group here, the voices came to help. We immediately reached out to our family, spoke to her grandmother and stepdad, and the next day we were out there, boots on the ground. Fantastic. That's what everyone needs to do. If you see anything, say something. It can help save many people's lives. Any small piece of information can always lead to basically saving people's lives. In Virginia, teams widen the street search, but it hit that ends uh, day after day. The missing girl was already on a bus headed more than 2,000 miles away. Jeez. Her destination was an apartment complex in Arizona. According to court records, a then 20-year-old man, Ethan Roberts, had befriended her on the internet. Oh, uh, traveled to Virginia together and later forced her into. CP uh, like I said, it's it's very very dark stuff. It's literally about CP. 
sharing through a lot in those days. Disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. Federal court records show Roberts did let the girl bring her Nintendo Switch gaming console when she connected to the internet to watch YouTube and download games. She dropped digital breadcrumbs. That's important. Digital breadcrumbs are great pieces of evidence, great pieces of information to help FBI, feds, and just the local police officers know about people's whereabouts and just what they've been doing to basically catch criminals. This is fa this is fantastic. That's brilliant. That's the one of the best things about the internet. It helps solve a lot of crimes. Uh, the Switch has a feature that lets you alert gaming friends on the Switches every time you get online to a notification. It's designed to encourage group play. In this case, it may have saved the 15 year old girl's life. A friend saw her name appear with the recent activity and alerted the authorities. Fantastic. That friend noticed and thankfully, thankfully, she alerted the authorities. It's probably nothing that anybody had even had thought of at this point. Which, you know, with technology growing ever more, you know, you maybe not think about doing something like that. But it's important. It's very important to know this, and it's very important to basically know that consoles and PCs are always, always connected into the internet. No matter what you do, no matter what, even even if you use VPNs, it's still connected to the internet, and it's great. It's a great thing to do to basically track somebody down in case they do like criminal activities. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of you know uh, worry about you know privacy and stuff like that, but this is also very important in basically catching criminals. This is a great thing to do. It's probably nothing. The fact that somebody else down the road and the child was bright enough to go, hey, look, my friend is lying. She's been missing. I need to tell somebody. That's a smart friend. <laughs> Milstead was not involved in this case, but he said police agents quickly use digital devices to tra uh, track it to capture suspects and find missing people. I think most people should do that. Uh, most police force uh, and the feds. The feds definitely do it. Like the feds, like the FBI always does it. Uh, it's the best way to catch people uh, um, doing a lot of illegal stuff. So, you know, it's perfect. And the list of what you, you can track is growing exactly as the internet continues to basically grow and it's growing always it's like the universe it just continues to expand it doesn't end it just continues to expand the more devices that are created the better and higher chance it is to basically find you know these criminal activities and stuff like that so it makes crime much much harder and that's the whole point right this is great, fantastic. Everything's connected to Wi-Fi to LET, long-term evolution devices. A cell phone, an iPad, a watch, whatever it is, you can use those things to low keep you exactly. With help of Nintendo, the FBI obtained the Switch's IP address, which led them to the doctor's apartment complex. Great job, Nintendo. He definitely underestimated that part. Apparently so. Um, Eleven days after the girl disappeared, court records showed the FBI and Tolson police around the man's apartment near. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna put the address of this person. Uh, he was arrested. The next morning, Coleman's phone rang. The teen stepped up was on the line with the happy news that the 50 year old was coming home. Fuck yeah, Nintendo. Let's fucking go. We cried on the phone. It was just a joy. That's fucking fantastic. The missing child posters came down. The teen returned to her family in Virginia to recover from the ordeal, which would have gone on for so much longer if it hadn't been for Nintendo Switch. The bad guys need to know that the police are watching that you're living a digital footprint everywhere you go. We will find you. Exactly. It's. No matter how big the internet gets, even with VPN and stuff like that, uh, proxy, you will be found in some form or way. Yes, VPN can protect your privacy, but if you're doing something illegal, guess what? The FBI can definitely um, go to like your VPN uh, website, your VPN um, uh, account, or, you know, the company that runs the VPN, and ask to check your, you know, your internet, like history and stuff like that they will can always do that if they are ever suspicious of you that's fat that's a that's always a that's always something that i think should be done and it's fantastic um robert's related indictment in the federal court for charging includes trying to at cp and transportation reminded with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity he made a plea deal in april he was sentenced 30th now we all know the stories about how heartless nintendo can be like you know w the recent stories about like um the guy who basically has to forfeit like a large percentage of his future checks to nintendo and other anti-consumer stuff regarding roms and just using any sort of um their ip in any sort of creative fun way without even doing it for profit um but nintendo is not all the way heartless um granted this is something that nintendo should be doing regardless of whatever you know they wouldn't be fucking nitpicky about this but i still think that um nintendo did a good job here and definitely um did the right thing and definitely helped the feds with this uh you know kidnapping and, and you know it ended on on the good note with the you know the teenage girl finally being able to uh get home and being saved and no longer have to go through all that awful awful stuff but yeah that's what i want to talk about um hopefully you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of like uh any of these loony news stories i find um 
that are can be either really really weird really good uh you know with a good ending and or just like out of this world wild so hopefully uh you come back with more uh please comment below what you thought about this uh video about this new story and uh yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time bye bye also like the video